Hey guys, it's Delaney Blake with RH. In this video, we're going to show you a little bit more about how you can communicate your boundary resolution partly by the way you label uh, the distances of lines in your uh, boundary annotations. We do that in what we call boundary annotation drawing here at RH. So depending on the, the type of distance you show and the, the value for that distance, um, the way you use those two things is going to help communicate to retracing surveyors how you've resolved your boundary. And I've got a couple other videos that show you that. We'll link to those. Um, so in those other videos, I was I was working in kind of this main area here. This is my resolved boundary matrix. Uh, this is lot five of an old subdivision. But I wanted to do a follow-up video and just show you how I <clears throat> I am going to annotate the distances on these two tie lines. So this is. Uh, uh, this is Sandage Avenue here, and this is Sheldon Road. And so I used a map here to help me establish uh, these two lines, which would be the east line of the section and the north line of the section. And um, also used this center line of Sandage Avenue to, to verify that, to do the same thing, basically. So uh, these ties are important. There, there, weren't, any, there weren't a lot of mo monuments here, uh, almost none. And... I'm pretty sure the city of Elk Grove just had a paving project where they paved over every single center line monument between this section corner and the next section corner down, which is almost a mile. So it's a brand new blacktop, and, and there were a half a dozen or more center line monuments that are all gone now. So I'm I'm trying to figure that out. Um, but anyways, I didn't have I didn't have any monuments down here, so I had to establish this line and this line with with other monuments. So I used some monuments uh, to the east down Sheldon Road and. I use some monuments down uh, Sandage Avenue uh, to do that. So <clears throat> let's start up here on uh, Sheldon Road. So let me let me show you guys this map. So it's this record of survey. Uh, this is a pre-con record of survey they did on a big cul-de-sac project here. Here's our subject parcel. And so I found uh, this monument here. And I found uh, this nail and shiner here and use that to establish these uh, section lines. Okay. So uh, everything you see here is, is gone. Everything here, there's a huge um, roundabout now. <laughs> this is all gone. And I looked for a couple more of these mons um, and was, was not able to find them. I couldn't find the nail and shiner in the most strip. And I looked for a couple of these other monuments and, and wasn't able to find them. But I did find a couple. Um, and so I want to show, I want to communicate how those monuments fit with the record information on this map. So I'm going to do that partly with my labels. So uh, let's start with the easy one first. So we've got this overall distance um, from this point here, okay, which there was, there was nothing set here. But so from this point on the center line of Sheldon Road all the way down to this point on the center line, center line intersection. Okay, so I established this point using this swing tie here. Okay, and he shows you that distance is 1356.58. He goes from here to here. Okay, so 1356.58. Sorry, guys. Okay, so... We, I put in an overall with the level 2 crow's feet like you guys saw earlier, and we're going to show our distance. So our distance was um, was a little bit different, and this is actually a bad label. So let's go into the line work drawing. You should always have your line work drawing open. So our distance was uh, in length in miles there, which is not helpful. I don't know why it's in miles. It's probably because we're getting close to a mile there. Try and fix that. Yeah, all right. Let's do a dim. Whoop. Okay, so from here all the way down. And I think I'm within a, a couple tenths. Okay, so we got 1356.6. Let's make sure we've got enough precision on that, enough significant digits.
Okay, so 13658. Okay, so that's going to be our calculated. Okay, and then we're also going to show that because he shows that value directly on, on his map, the other surveyor, uh, we can also show that this is R3, I believe. So we can also show that as R3. Okay, yeah, that's R3. Now, it's a part of the reason I wanted to show you this. This gets a little tricky. So the reason those match exactly perfect is because I did not find a monument at the end of this line. I actually found the monument down here at the bottom of the swing tie. So really where you see the difference is you see the difference on this tie back to the monument. Okay, so I have a calculated distance of 19.03, okay, but the record per R3 is 18.77. So uh, there's about, uh, let's see, yeah, it's about 2,500 difference there. Um, and this is, this is an old old mon in an, in an old culvert head wall so I'm not super surprised it doesn't fit super good now this one uh, fits really great so this is a 55 foot county road right away um, and I found the mon right where it was supposed to be now um, you'll notice I show calculated record per R3 why well if you look at this guy's map and he didn't do anything wrong but he doesn't show a perpendicular tie here so I can't in my opinion I can't show it as a record I got to calculate that Okay, so I showed it as a calculated record. Okay, so that, that's part of the reason why on my maps I like to put in these perpendicular ties, right? Um, so he didn't do that on his map. It's okay. He didn't have to. Um, we can calculate the value. Now, another interesting thing is, so I found this monument here, but he doesn't show, you know, there's no perpendicular tie line over here, and so I, he doesn't list the distance from this corner to this spot where this perpendicular line would hit the center line or the other way the distance from where the perpendicular would hit the center line to, to down here but I would like to make those comparisons I think they're helpful and so we can do that how do we do that okay well what you do is you go into your search drawing or your Kogo drawing doesn't matter and I'm just gonna move this out for a minute this is part of the reason why I wanted to do this video for you guys so um, he doesn't show me the distance uh, to this point down here. So I found this monument. I'm going to just draw a tie line perpendicular. So I want to know how does my record, I'm sorry, how does my measured distance from, it's not measured. I, 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 this corner's gone right here, this section corner, guys, because of the roundabout. But I calculated its position using this parcel map to the south. So how does my calculated distance from that calculated position using the parcel map to the south to this intersection point, how does that fit? what you would calculate using the record information on his map. Are they close or not? That's what we want to know. So the way you do that, you just go into the Kogo, you draw that perpendicular line over, and we're going to draw another line. Okay, so he doesn't show this uh, this distance on his map. He didn't, and he didn't do anything wrong. Okay, but I can calculate that distance from the geometry he gave on the map. Okay, so we have 843.32. Okay, and if you go in and look at my same my same um, value for that is actually 843.25. So I found it within a few hundredths of a foot. So maybe, let's see, 32 would be seven hundredths of a foot. Now, some people aren't gonna like, they're not gonna like what I'm about to do here, but when I find something that close in this case, I'm just gonna call it the record. So I'm gonna say that I found it at the record, at the calculated record per R3, okay? I can't call it R3 like this, because he doesn't show that value on his map but I can calculate it from the geometry he gave us, okay? And I'm gonna say, hey, I found the monument basically at the right location. Now, why do I feel comfortable doing that? You know, this is, uh, uh, let's see, would it be a quarter mile away? Uh, I tied it with GPS. Um, I think it was a good observation, but it, it's, I didn't run a total station traverse down here. It was a, a narrow right away and a really busy road. Um, and I feel like I found it, you know, I've, I've probably got 700s of error in my measurements. And so I'm going to go ahead and this is a newer survey that Mark Thomas did. That's a company in my area. And I think the guy did pretty good work. And uh, I'm going to just go ahead and say I found that monument where he, where he said he found it. Okay, and the way I do that is by just 
I'm going to show the calculated record distance here instead of instead of the calculated distance that I had. Okay, so we can make that same comparison here. So let's go back to our Kogo and let's just measure this, calculate this line the other direction. Okay, so uh, we've got 513.26. Okay, and let's see what we have. Okay, so I gotta I gotta recalculate that. So 513.26. Okay. <clears throat> so I think let's see here. I think this is gonna match exact because I just held this distance. 510.85. So I'm making I'm goofing something. Oh, there we go. You gotta you gotta snap to the right spot. Crew's feet in the wrong spot. Okay. Alright. So we got 513.41. Okay, so we're seeing we are seeing that difference. That that couple of tenths difference. Okay, so I'm gonna say 513.41 is my calculated. 513.26 is the cap the value I calculated from the record okay and that makes sense because you can see here we're a couple tenths off remember we got that 2500 or so and so that's shown up there um, so you know I fit decent I fit actually you know you hold these two mons and come over and look at where this section corner is for this uh, map for the precon survey on the roundabout um, it's like within a two or three tenths of the position of that same section corner calculated from the monuments I found down on Sandage um, per this parcel map. So I, I felt pretty good um, about how that all came together. Okay, so you guys see how we did that? We've got the overall there. Now, I was able to, <coughs> the overall <coughs> distance from the section corner to this, this point down here. My, my distance matches the distance per this for this record survey exact because I didn't find a monument down here. So I just pushed out that distance. Where that shows up is in, in the tie back to this mod. That's where you see the two tenths, the two tenths difference. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now, there, you could, here's another way you could do this. And, it, and I don't think it makes a huge difference, but you could hold this record tie here from this monument and you could shorten the length of this line and then show the shorter distance here. So that they're, they're both kinds of ways, they're both different ways of showing that, that you, you've got a couple tenths difference there between the location of the monuments and, and the record uh, distances. All right. Okay. Let's go down and look at Sandage. Okay, so on Sandage Avenue, um, I found the monument here. I found the monument here at the center line. So this is a right-of-way monument on a parcel map to the south. I found a, right -of a monument here at the center line of Sandage and the uh, west boundary of that big lot five. And then down here, I found another right-of-way monument and I found another center line monument. Right, so we want to do the same thing. We want to see how these fit. So we're going to look at a couple of those maps. So this is the old parcel map that fills this square here. Oops, sorry guys. Okay, so... Um, so here's that monument I found, okay, and then I found this monument also here. And you can see I was a little worried earlier, but there is a little bit of a diagonal on that. Okay, so uh, the first thing we're gonna we want to show is the 670. We want to look at uh, this distance, the 670.51 here, from here to here. Say, all right, how do we fit that? Okay, so let's go ahead and, and take a look at that. So right here. Let's see, let's go into our line work drawing. Draw a line on top of that. Okay, 670.51, so we fit. Okay, so we fit the record. 
That parcel mount, by the way, is R4. Okay, and I made a mistake in my earlier video now that I'm thinking about it. I thought I found that parcel map short at the top. I didn't. It was the, the it was this south adjoiner deed. So this south adjoiner deed, it doesn't match the parcel map to the south and, uh, along this line. You can actually see that too if you open the search drawing. Um, if you come in here, you can see the difference here. So the south adjoiner is two or three feet shorter than that parcel map to the south. There's nothing I can do about that, guys. Right? Like that's a that's just a difference in the record measurements. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so we got that fixed. So we, we fit measured versus record. It's not measured. It's calculated, but it fits there. Okay, now we want to see how do these uh, distances underneath here fit. Okay, and that's a little bit tough because uh, that guy doesn't show it. So he does not show that here. He does not show a tie down to this monument. So he shows the monument and some some kind of sketchy line work, but he doesn't give it a, 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 a cross tie. But we can do some math here and probably get close, right? So we can add up these two distances to get down here. So let's let's go ahead and do that. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to show that yet because these distances aren't on the center line; they're on the south right away line. But let's see what we can do. So we got two fifteen nineteen plus two oh eight point eight three. Oop. 215.19 plus 208.83. So we got 424.02. Um, okay, and then that that is a whoop, I think it's a 20 foot, nope, 30 foot, 30 foot offset. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna just come in here now and we're gonna offset that line 30 feet. Oh, it won't let me do it, I gotta do it in my line work drawing. Okay, so we'll offset that 30 feet. And you want to make sure that you're starting at the right spot. Now, I believe it's just the intersection of, of this line because he calls this, well, yeah, see, there could be an angle break here. We don't know. We don't know, and he doesn't show. So we just got to be conscious that this little line right here, this 30-foot piece, might not be at the same bearing as this line up here, but it's going to be close. So let's see, let's see how it looks. So let's just go ahead and um, I'm going to draw a line here and we're going to fillet or fillet these. My business partner, Danny, always teases me for saying fillet when it's fillet or fillet. So fillet, radius of zero. Okay, so I'm assuming there's not an angle break in there. Okay, and then we're going to, we're going to go 424.02. Okay, and we hope we get close here. So we do, we get pretty close. It's not exact, but it's close. Um, let's just pull it in and see how close it is. Okay, so it's uh, two tenths about. Looking for my my precision here. Right here. Okay, so about 2100s. Okay, now I, I don't want to really mess with showing that south right away line. So what I want to do is I want to say what would that distance be uh, perpendicular to the to the center line. So I'm going to draw that in there. Okay, so there's where I drew it perpendicular to the center line. Um, let me think about how I want to show this here. All right, this is a little bit tricky, guys, but here's the thing I'm going to do. I know I'm 2100 short. Um, so, in other words, the record distance is 2100 short of where I found the monument. So that's just that's what I'm going to show on my center line. I'm going to just transfer that shortage up the center line here. And some 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 people won't like that, but I think it's going to keep the map simpler. We're just trying to, to give folks an idea of how we fit. So what I can do here is I can say, hey, my calculated um, distance there is, uh, now I don't remember. So let's get our calculated distance here. So from our mom that we found down to the, to the west to there, OK? 
Okay, we've got 423.04. Okay. Um, and I'm going to say, hey, the calculated record uh, is, tw is, is 2100 short of that. Okay. So I'm showing that the mod I found was, was the record was short of the mod, the two mods I found. So we got to actually do that math because I don't want to mess it up. So we're going to say 424.04 minus 0 0.21, which is the shortage. Is 422.83. Okay, and we're going to call that calculated record for that parcel map R4. Now, some people won't love that, uh, so the alternative would be to, to add the offset line and run down the offset to here, and then show the measured versus the calculated versus the calcu uh, calculated record on the south right away line. I, I just I don't think that's necessary. I, I already don't know exactly what that angle break is. I think this, this keeps the map a little simpler and, and conveys the message that, hey, there was approximately two tenths difference between what I calculated and the calculated record, right? Um, now, another way you could do that, if you wanted, is you could show, and I don't think I'm going to do this either, but you could draw a tie line between these two mons, and then you could show a measured versus a calculated record on those two lines and show how the, the record map fit versus the versus the measurement on the two mons. But again, he doesn't even really give me a super solid tie here. This is this is a little bit you know sketchy di, di, like a diagram almost. So I, I think I'm happy with it. Now when I do my record of survey, the county surveyor may have some suggestions on you know the county surveyor may not like this. He may ask me to do something different and, and it's possible I I will humor him. But for the purposes of what we're doing right now I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, so we covered this piece. Okay, now we found a monument uh, down here. Um, that so we got to go look at another map. So here's this subdivision map. So I found this monument. By the way, all these other monuments he shows on here aren't set. These houses are being built. This this map was filed in the right before the Great Recession in 2007, 2008, and they never came in and finished, and now they're building and there's no stinking monuments out here. So this might be the only monument in the whole sub-map. I don't, I don't know why this one was set, but this one's not here, not there, and that one's not there, but this one's in. So I found this one, and I actually found this monument. Uh, let's see, I think I found this monument. I can't remember if it's this one or this one. We'll, we'll, we'll be able to see here in a minute. Okay, so now the nice thing is he runs all the way down Sandwich. Okay, so he doesn't, does he give me, let's see, he gives me, so you got to look closely at his crow's feet. I don't think he gives me the distance I want, which is from here, um, from here at least down to to the, the other monument I found. So that's the distance I think I really want to show, I want to show. So I want to compare this distance from this found mon to this found mon. Sorry, this one down here. And so you can see, I'm actually going to move this because I want to go, I've got two mons here, so that's what I want to show. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see what we would calculate that as. So from this mon to this monument down here, we want to know what is my measured Okay, so my measured is 995.13. Okay. Oop, I'm just trying to get this on the midpoint, guys, sorry. Okay, so I've got 995.13. Okay, that is a measured. That's the only measured I've put on this map so far because I've got a monument at each end of the line. That's what I call a measured. Now, what we want to know is um, what what is that in the record? So he doesn't show it directly, but we can calculate it. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got... Nope, he does show it. Look at this right here. Is this it? No, I don't think that's it. So we've got from here to here is 331.94. Okay. 
and then we've got 663.13. So let's see if that number's close. So 663.13 plus 331.94 should give me the distance from this monument to this monument. I found both those. 995.07. Let's see if those are close. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm almost exact. Okay, so again, this is going to freak some people out. I'm going to show that I found that I found uh, the calculated record per this other map. And a lot of people aren't going to like that I just did that, but it's okay. Um, I, that, I have, I have six measure, six hundredths of measurement error in my map. So this is uh, PM 204.13, so it's R5. Okay, so what I'm going to show then is I'm going to just say, hey, I found, I measured between those two mons what they showed on R5. Okay, but I had to calculate it, so I'm going to put calculate, calculated record R5 because he didn't show that distance direct. Okay. All right, so I had a good fit. I had, I had a good fit between this mon and this mon. And now we've got a couple smaller distances because um, I found this other monument. I found, let's see, this monument. Let's see. I can't remember which one I found. Let's look. So I'm 166 feet from this monument. So I found that I actually found this one right here. Okay. So how do you calculate that? He doesn't show that distance here, and it's okay. He didn't do anything wrong. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this six. Uh, we're gonna take this 331.94 from here to here. Okay, and we're going to subtract from that this 165.41. Okay, that gives us what's left over. So what's left over from here to here, I hope, is 166.53. You're close. Yeah. So that's what I calculate. So we it it this map fits super good. Okay, so we can say on this one we're going to say calculated. That's our our survey, and then calculated record per R5 was exact, so it fit really good. Okay. Now on this map here, or excuse me, on this monument here, um, let's see if they show that cross tie. Um, they showed as 20.36, and I found it at, at 2020. Um, so I found it long, and he found it long from the record. That's okay. So we're, we're just going to say, um, we're going to just go ahead and put that in here. So this is my calculated. And then he, he said he found it at 20.36, so 1600s. And now that's starting to get a little a little more, um, and that's directly shown on his map. So we can show it as R5. We didn't have to calculate it. Yeah, 1600s is starting to push a, 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 a little more than what, you know, I feel like my survey is probably better than 1600. So I'm going to go ahead and show the difference on that one. All right, so we got all our. Um, oh, we got one more. Okay, so we we can show how how did we compare along this line from here, from this intersection of this this tie, this perpendicular tie, um, back to our monument here. Okay, and again, I got a little bit of a problem with my crow's feet, maybe. Again, I'm just I'm trying to do that. Um, I'm trying to show that, and it's a little bit tricky because I didn't find a center line mon. I found a right away mon, right? Which which makes that a little trickier. So we got to use that. We got to use that perpendicular. We got to use that perpendicular tie here because I, I there was no center line mon here. There was supposed to be. They never said it. Okay. So here's our calculated. Our calculated is 828.92. So that's our calculated. Okay, now we got to go figure out what is it on the map. Okay, so let's go look at the map. Okay, so that is um, this distance plus this distance. So we've got uh, 165.41 plus 663.13 is 828.54. 
Okay, so I, I found a four tenth, uh, four tenth difference there. So that's that's. I'm gonna double check that because that's a little bigger than I thought it was gonna be. We'll double check. So I said eight twenty eight fifty four. So that would be calculated record per R5 because he didn't show the value directly on his map. Okay, now let me just make sure that my calculated is going to the right spot. That looks good there. And that looks good there. I don't have any Z's. So I think, I think I'm okay there. Just as a double check, I'm going to go ahead and pull a dimension just to make sure that I didn't goof something up. Because I'm, I'm a little surprised it's that far off. So uh, that's showing up. Yeah. So I goof. I nope. It's it's actually different. Uh, let's see here. Okay. So there there is a, there is quite a bit of a difference there. Now, let me think about it for how that could happen. So what that means is, I found these these two monuments fit perfect with each other. Okay, but these two monuments, I got four tenths different difference on on my calculate or my, yeah my calculated distance from this monument to this intersection was almost a half a foot different from his tie down. So he fits good locally. That's what I'm finding. But when he runs all the way over to this monument, he doesn't fit as good. Um, now, just for kicks and giggles, I'm not going to show it on the map. But let's see if he's got that if we have that same difference if we go all the way down. So I'm going to go all the way down, and I can do that because there's no angle break. Okay, so our calculated on that is 1499.43. So let's see what he shows. Okay, I don't think he gives it to us. we got to do the math. So let's do the math. So we're going to take... Um, 670.72 Okay, that gets us from here to here. Then we're going to go 663.13 will get us here. Okay, then we're going to go down one more, 165 plus 41. Okay, so I get 1499.26 and we got yeah so it's two or three tenths all right so you know i'm not sure what's going on there i, I did a fast static survey down here it's pretty long occupations with a good with a good least squares adjustment uh but i didn't run a total station down here so it could be you know could be my slop could be i got two tenths of slop here along this line could be the other guy does uh certainly if he was running rtk or rtn that's reasonable or it could be i've got a tenth of slop and he's got a tenth of slop Right. Um, I don't know that it's going to change anything on my survey, and uh, we're we're giving that information, right? We're we're letting people know that my we're calculating some some differences uh, along this line compared to what what the guy who did this map calculated. Okay. All right, so that's it. This is a long video, but I've got the labels now along these these tie lines that are coming out from our resolve boundary matrix. Um, I'm, uh, and, and those are important. Like I said in the beginning, they're important because I didn't. There wasn't a lot of monuments to find here, and the city paved over everything on all, down here. So I used these monuments along Sandage Avenue and Sheldon Road here to help establish this group of parcels here, my result boundary matrix. So these these ties are important. They they help convey some of that information. You know what? There was one other one I forgot to put on here. So I found this monument here. Um, and I totally forgot to label this. Um, but anyways, this I found this monument at 27 feet from the center line, and that's exactly where the old county road right away was, was 27 feet, and then they came in and took a dedication, so I'll make sure I add that. But this monument, now you remember, this monument, I found it a foot south of where this guy said it was in the record, but I found it, I found it exactly where it was supposed to be east-west. So that makes me that makes me feel good. So all right guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.